Hello and welcome. Today we are playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the board game. We are going to be playing a Clash edition. And the mission that we're going to play today is a two-player class called Brave New World. The special winning condition here is to be the first player to capture five mines. And if none of us have captured five mines before the end of the eight battle round, we're going to play a last nine battle round. And the one with the most mines at the end of that round will be the winner. If we are equal, it's going to be a draw. But let's get right into the game. So we are going to play through the different rounds. And if you have any questions, you can write them in the comment section below. Or else go check out our How to Play playlist for Heroes of Magmatic 3, the board game. Yeah, and if you really want to see what's in the box, we also have an unboxing video where you can see everything from the box. I've got to put a link up here in the corner. So I'm going to start with my movement phase, so I'm going to spend one to visit this campfire. Yes. Rolling the resource die, giving me three coins. That is about the worst that I could get. <laughs> Spending another movement to move down here. Remember to put a black cube. And I'm going to try and capture this mine. Yeah, for your last movement. For my last movement. Yes. So that is going to be our first combat, okay. and that is a level one. We are playing easy, and as we can see here, that means that I'm going to play towards one copper enemy. Yes. So we are going to look at initiative, and... Uh, that would be me. Yeah, the race first. One, two, three, and it attacks the griffin. Yeah. So you're going to roll the attack die. Yes, just one, right? Yes. Plus one, so it's attack of three. Yeah, I have a defense of nothing, so that is going to be three damage to my griffins. My griffins is going to retaliate, so I have a base attack of two. Two plus one. That's three. So three damage. I am going to activate my griffins. Yes. And I'm going to attack the raves. Yeah. That is going to be a single damage, which is enough, is to, enough to kill. Yeah. Yeah. That's and resource the fight. So that means that I instantly get two resources for winning that fight. Yeah. And I get to place one of my markers, thereby getting in lead with a single mine. Yeah. And I also increase my resource gain. So that was all my movement. Next up I have my town actions. I would like to build my citadel. That's going to be five building resources, one valuable and eight coins. Mm -hmm. And that is going to provide me with the possibility to reinforce, reinforce units, yeah. my units. So that was my build action, and for my population, I am gonna recruit my last cover unit, which is the marksman. I am gonna reinforce them for five as well. Okay. I have two packs, and that was all my action, so over to you. Yes, I will start my movement by uh, starting to not mimicking you <laughs> for a resource. Three coins, can't win every time. I'm going to use another movement to move here, and my last movement to move onto the mine. Now for a second fight. So, attack a place uh, first, and I pull a single copper unit. And zombies have a special ability that if the attacker resolves a zero or a plus one on an attack die, it gains uh, additional defense. Yeah. So, initiative-wise? Yes, I have five and four. Yeah, so both your units will go first? Yeah. Criminals will go first, and they will of course just stand still and roll their slings. Four, three damage. And that is three damage going through, because no defense, because you have a... No, that's a plus one, so that gives them one defense with a special ability, so two oh, damage. So two damage, okay. Then it's gonna be my iron golems. They're gonna move one, two, and three, and attack. For three plus nothing. Yeah, so that is going to be three, and that is a zero, giving an additional attack, but that is still two damage going through. Yeah. That is enough to kill off the zombies, and you yeah. win the fight. I win the fight. That meant I get the two resources now. Yes. And uh, I get to move this one. Yes, and flag the mine with one of your colored With groups. one of my colored, yes. I am also going to build the citadel for my build action. Place it down here, just so I get the possibility of reinforcing units as well. For my population, I am also going to be looking at my cards here. I have card colors left. They cost three. So I grab them and I am also going to reinforce them for four. That brings us to a conclusion. So what we're going to do now is move to round two. And round two is an astrologer's proclaim round. 
So we're gonna put up the first card. And it says here, and Strategist proclaim week of the annoying lizard. Each player must shuffle all artifacts and spell cards from their hand back into the deck and draw the same number of cards from the top of the deck of Might and Magic. So we are gonna go through our deck, find all our... Spells and artifacts? Yep. So that is pretty annoying. Put them back into our own deck? Yep. Shuffle and then draw. The same amount. Yeah, that was a bit of a... Hmm. I can hear you feel the same way I do. <laughs> but uh, let's continue. So no resources gained this time. So we are going to flip our town action yes. boards and, and our get movement. our movement here. Oh, so I can fight for, fight for a treasure over here. Why not? I'm going to try and fight for a treasure. So let's go to the battle board. Hmm. And by initiative, you start. Yeah, by eight. It's gonna move two forward and attack. Oh, a crooked. A plus one, that's and three damage. They have a special ability when they're fighting? Yes, when they're fighting, they ignore all retaliation. So, so that means the halberdiers take damage and do not get to retaliate. Yeah, so what I can do is I have a special ability that allows me to discard a card to ignore the attack die. Yeah. Uh, so I am going to discard my knowledge and take a single point of damage. Hmm. The next initiative order is going to be either my griffins or my marksman, so I choose. I'm going to start my marksman. And they have a special ability when fighting that allows them to, if not adjacent by an enemy unit, attack twice. So first off, we are going to do 3 damage, yes. and we are going to roll again, as we are not adjacent to any units. That is another 3 damage, thereby and winning the fight. Damage. Winning the fight, I am allowed to roll a oh, treasure okay. die, and then roll a resource die. <laughs> so one For valuable. One valuable. That's actually really good. Cool. Yeah, they are pretty rare, and we only get one per resource round. Yeah. So I have activated this field, spend a movement point, spending my next movement point by exploring here. So we each have two, two to three mm. fields. I'm gonna take one. And then I am allowed to turn it the way I want. The only thing is that I need to place it so it touches two existing tiles. So I am gonna place it like this. And then I'm gonna move directly into the obelisk, gaining one experience, or actually half an experience. For my town actions and population, I'm not gonna do anything. My turn then. I am gonna spend a movement point to move into my castle and a movement point to move into the treasure tile. So back to combat. Initiative, that is... This is my gargoyle with nine. I am gonna move my gargoyle one and two and attack. So three plus one, that's four. Yeah, that is enough to kill the boss. That means I get to tap the, fee the artifact here and roll an artifact dice for half an experience point, which brings me to level 2. So, because you level up to level 2, two. you are allowed to search 2 from the build stake or yes. take the 1 from the top of the discard pile. Um, no, I think I'm gonna go with 2 here and keep one of them. So you have one movement point yeah. left. And I'm gonna use it to search here. Yep. And I think I'm gonna go with the bottom one. I think I'm gonna place it like this. Any town actions? Uh, no, can't afford it. <laughs> so, that's then, round two. Yes, so we are going to go to the next round, which is the resource round. We have a special event here that says that we are to reset all windmills and water mills, but none of them has been flagged yet. So, round three is a resource round, which means we get the resource gain on our board. So, we get movement points back and whatever town actions we already did, but none of us did any of those. And I'm going to go to the windmill. Getting me uh, one valuable here. I'm gonna spend visiting the fountain. That gives me a positive morale token. But before we do that, isn't there a combat to resolve? Oh, you are absolutely right. Oh, a level two combat. So level two means that if we look up here for easy, it's now two cover units. So initiative. I got two sixes. So do I, which means attacker goes first. Yeah. So I'm gonna start actually my marksman. Mm -hmm. And my marksman is gonna attack the halflings. 
and that is with disadvantage, which gives two damage. They have yeah. no defense. Yeah, so they. But because I'm not adjacent to enemy unit, I am allowed to attack again. Yeah. For one damage. For one damage, which it's is enough still to, enough to kill. Yeah. Enough to kill the halflings. But uh, that means that it's now your time to activate the rogues. Um, they are just going to move one forward and attack. For two. So I have a single defense, which means that there's gonna be one damage. damage that is fine. I'm gonna take that, not gonna play a card for that. And then retaliation. Yeah. So they have a base defense of uh, attack of three. That's gonna be four. That means the rogue is dead. That's I won the combat, so I am gonna get these effects here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we visit, I get a, mor a positive morale token and I get an addition movement points right away. So I can't move in here because of these yellow lines. I am gonna try and explore this one for a movement point. So we flip it over and we find out how to place it. So I'm gonna place it like this and then I spend my last movement points visiting the tree here, which allows me to pay 10 coins mm -hmm. to get two experience, which brings me to level two and a half, thereby allowing me to search the ability deck over here or the skill mm -hmm. deck. <laughs> oh, I don't like that sound. It, oh, it's very, it, it is very special. Both of these. Mm. Um, I'm gonna take this one. Mm. So I didn't choose offense. That only gets me thinking. Mm. What are you keeping there? Exactly. That's all my movement points. I'm not gonna do any town actions. So mm. over to you. Yes. I am going to be starting with moving this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend a movement point to move into this field. I can pay three gold now to do a search in the spell yes. while, while standing here. Exactly. I just think I'm going to do that. Search two or take the top player. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> and get fire shield back. Okay, so you don't want fire shield. Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> that's interesting. Yes. As you have flying units. But um, yeah, you visited that one. Yep. You have a sink movement point left. Yeah, I'm gonna move down here to get three gold. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Why not visit the watermelon when you can? Yeah. Do Any sound actions with all those resources? See, yeah, actually, I'm gonna build my mate's guild. And then I get to place my mate's guild. And that has immediately effect. When built, I search the spell deck. Two, twice. Twice, yeah. So, first search. Yeah, this one. And next search. There we go. Yeah. That was all your movement points and your town actions as well? Or do you yeah. want to recruit? Well, you can't recruit, you can reinforce. You can reinforce, yeah. But I can't reinforce right now. Well, you can reinforce iron golems for seven. Yeah, but I only have nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Then we're gonna flip iron golems to get oh, a little bigger here. There we go. Right now we are going back and we are gonna discard when it becomes our turn. So you have all the cards on your hand until you get your turn again. Mm. So we're just going to go to turn four. Astrologers proclaim week of the wild debauchery. debauchery. At the beginning of the next resource round, all players gain five less coins. Ooh, that hurts. Okay. Mm. So um, that was pretty hard. I think we're going to go one. Then we're mm. going to use one to discover my other tile. Yeah. Going to go like this. With the last one, going to go in. For a level two fight, so two cover units. I'm going to activate my marksman. Mm -hmm. And I am gonna try and shoot those halflings. I have disadvantages because back row to back row. Yes. That is two damage, no defense. No defense. Give and them a wagon more. I'm not adjacent. Okay, they're, 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 they're pretty dead. They are just gone. We are still on initiative uh, six, which is also the griffins. Mm -hmm. They're gonna fly up and they are gonna attack. So let's see, they have four. So I'm gonna play the attack card. I'm gonna play it for the expertise because I have one expertise on level two, mm -hmm. which gives me plus two attack. 
So I am now four attack before the dice roll. And that is a single die. That is four damage enough to kill off the... The halberdiers. Yep. That allows me to roll two. I'm just gonna place a cube. Roll two treasure die and choose one. So it's a resource? I can choose resource or resource. I'm gonna choose resource. Or for building resources. That was a nice roll. Yeah, that was actually pretty okay. Compared to some of the other stuff that we have seen. Yeah. That was all my movement for my actions. I actually still have any, don't have any coins, so uh, over to you. And I can see that we have actually forgot quite a, quite a pretty important thing. And, <laughs> and uh, the problem is that every time you win a fight against a neutral unit, you actually gain experience. Ooh. So we should be far higher level. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this turn to the end. Mm. Or actually we can just correct it on this turn. So I just won one combat against my own level. Mm which gives me one half of the XP, brings me to level three. And we're gonna remember for you as well this, but we have missed out a couple of half XP. Yeah, yeah, but let's rest that for yeah. now. And, and just the, the reason playing. this is important is because if you fight a neutral battle that is lower than your level, mm. you just auto win, you don't play the battle. Oh, see, that's actually like quite nice to know. Exactly. I am, for my first movement point, gonna be bold. I move directly into a level three match. Yeah, and if you win this because it's higher than you, you okay. get a full level, yeah. not half. So level 3 is going to be one copper and one silver. I can only throw one spell per round, right? Yes, and you do it when you actuate a unit. Yeah. So initiative-wise, you are going to start, and yeah. the special ability of Minotaur is re-roll any minus one on attack mm -hmm. die and unlimited retaliation. I am going to activate a Gargons and throw a magic arrow with power two. I'm gonna throw it at the Minotaurs. Which is pretty good because spells ignore defense. Yeah. So that is three damage going directly through. I can't do anything about it. Yep. Nope. So they have one HP left. Use knowledge to take my magic arrow back to my hand. And then the gargoyles move one and two. And then they attack the Minotaurs. Four, three. That is one damage, that is enough. Which brings us to the Griffin's turns. So it's just gonna move over here and try and attack those gargoyles. And that is a pretty bad hit. <laughs> so that is uh, three damage, that is two going through. Yeah. And you get to retaliate. Yes, that is with three damage, plus one. And no defense, so the Griffins are dead. And that wins you the battle. That's a rather good example of how a, a spell can do a hell of a difference in a combat. But that's also pretty interesting because you defeated a level higher than yourself, mm -hmm. which gives you a complete level. A full level. Which means I get to search. Nope. But oh. you get to hand size 5. Ah, oh, hand size. Oh, one more card. So yes. you still have movement. Oh, I, actually, and... I moved in here. Yep, that's right. That, so that's, that fight also gets me a resource. And uh, it has a reoccurring, so I don't need to put a... Nope, that is that it's a mine. It's a mine. Oh, it's a mine. So you have flagged this mine. Yes. Which also brings up your recurring valuables. Oh, valuables to two. That's actually really good. And for my last move. Oh, no, that was only one movement. Yep. I got two left. I'm going to be moving into this field. And because it's a level two fight, I auto win. That is correct. So I get two gold and one valuable. So you get to choose. I get to choose. Ah. Two gold or one valuable. Um. I'm gonna get two valuables anyway. I'm gonna get the two gold actually. You have and one movement left. I have one movement left. You could try and explore another time. Yeah, I actually think I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna use any more in my turn. Okay, so that is end of the round. We are going into round five, which is a resource round, but we get five less. Yeah. I still don't have any coins really, so I'm gonna spend the first one getting just three coins. Mm -hmm. Because I kind of need to. Yeah. Understandable. So, for the next movement point, I am gonna visit the scholar and roll an attack die and see what mm. we get. So, plus one, which allows me to draw one chosen statistic card or remove one of the statistic cards from my hands. And then I will spend my last movement point visiting Optimistic. down here to get half a XP. which brings me closer to level four. <laughs> I'm gonna pay eight gold, uh, six building resources, mm -hmm. and three valuables to build my holy grounds. 
mm-hmm. and my holy grounds are gonna give me my silver units. Yeah, which allows me to hire cavaliers, swordsmen, and crusade uh, and sealers, but I don't have the money for them. So that is my building action, mm-hmm. and that is it for my turn. Yeah, then I am gonna start my movement with moving into this mine. Yeah, so you are level 3, so that is the same level, which means yes. we're gonna go into a fight. So we are gonna get the Evil Eyes and the Crusaders. So Crusaders do any attack roll, uh, roll two attack dice and resolve the highest outcome. Mm-hmm. And for the Evil Eyes, they are ignoring any combat penalty against adjacent units. So that is because ranged units, if they retaliate or attack in mm-hmm. melee, they get a disadvantage, right? Yeah. So initiative-wise, you are starting with the gargoyles. Yeah, my gargoyles are first. So I activate my gargoyle, but by activating him, I first throw a magic arrow with the power. I'm going to use this because I have it. And that is going to kill the evil eyes, yeah? Yes. Then the gargoyle moves. One, two, three, and attacks. For three damage, so that's going to be one. Yes. Then the crusaders are going to retaliate. Roll two, take the highest. That is a mighty four retaliation, that is three damage. Yeah, so they get to flip it. Yeah, but no overflow. No overflow, yeah. And then the Crusaders have retaliated, and you have activated. Yeah. So next up is yes. the fives, that is the rest of the units. You yes. are the attacker, you get to choose first. So I'm gonna move my iron golems forward and attack. <laughs> or two, so Which, no damage. Then it is the Crusaders. And I think that those Crusaders would be very eager to try and take down those Gargoyles. That is three damage, that's only going to be two, 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 two. two yeah. And then the Gargoyles are going to retaliate for three damage. That so is it takes one more. Another one, two, yeah. And it's going to be my Gremlins. The Gremlins are going to hit for two damage, so no damage. So that was end of a combat round, and because you are in a neutral fight, you either can pull back now with the losses, or you can pull, uh, you can use an additional movement point to continue the fight. Hmm. I am gonna continue the fight. Okay, we reset the cubes, but not the damage, and we take another round, starting with your gargoyles at initiative six. Yes, and they are gonna be throwing another magic arrow, but this time not empowered. So that's a single damage. Yes. Yes. And then the gargoyles are going to attack for three damage. That is enough to kill off the crusaders. Yeah. And because I won the fight, I'm going to get half an experience point. Yes. And I get to put my marker on the mine, move this one up, and get five gold. And that also brings you to three mines against my one. Yeah. So you have one movement point left? Yeah. And I'm just going to move down here. For my building phase, I am going to be building my enchanted towers. So I get to you now buy my silver units. Which means I can either choose now to reinforce my gargoyles, or I can see if I can buy any silver units. You still have some money, so yeah. Yeah, and actually I have just enough. So I'm going to be buying my magi. That also brings you to four units. Yeah. That's going to be pretty good. That is actually good. And two of them are ranged. And uh, Magi is really good because he ignores combat penalties. Yeah, and they ignore all combat mm. penalties, also attacking from the back line. Yeah, and he's even more fun when he gets to uh, to be a pack because then he empowers my spells. Ooh. The first spell. But still, but oh, that's I use my it for the round? Yeah. So um, let's prepare for the next round. And that is a uh, astrologer's plane, but we also have a special event that is that we remove the black cubes from windmills and watermills. The watermill here. Yeah. yeah. So we go to round six, and we're gonna see what happens. Astrologers proclaim week of the dead silence. Nothing, <laughs> Nothing changes. <laughs> okay. And uh, that brings us directly into our actions. So I'm gonna spend one, two movement points to get another three coins because I pretty I need them mm. a lot <laughs> uh, and then the interesting thing is do I walk in here so I also in this combat 
en roll af... Artifact Eye. Special Eye her, giving me another XP, Ooh, which brings me to 4. And at level 4, I'm gonna get my next expertise card for my Crusaders. And I get my second expertise point, and that is all my movement. So that is gonna be the turn for my sake. Hmm? I think I'm gonna do all three movement and go one, two, three. You don't want to actuate this one, right? No, I don't have any coins. No, oh, that's fine. And then you end on trading post, I think this is. Mm -hmm. uh, so the trading post allows you to do trade based on this chart. Oh, so if I've... you had any valuables, you could sell that for coin. Yeah. But yeah, any other actions, you don't really have anything to... No, that is just it for now. Yeah. So that concludes that turn. Mm -hmm. So we go into turn seven. I don't think any of us is going to flag five mines right now. No. But uh, let's see. So we get our movement points uh, back and we get the resources because it is a resource turn. Now I need to find out what to do because I am a bit afraid of actually attacking you to be honest. So what I am going to do is I'm going to spend uh, one movement point to go down here. That's going to net me three coins. Mm -hmm. Going to use one for nothing. And I'm going to capture your mine, which means that you lose your 5 plus income. Yeah. And I get mine, but I don't get the instant effect because it was already flagged. Yeah. And that concludes my movement. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to spend six coins on recruiting my Crusaders, yeah. which is also my speciality. Do I reinforce them for 10? I, you know what? I am going to... No, I'm going to spend those 10 to pay aid to also recruit my seals, hmm. my second range unit. Yeah. That's my turn. Question is, do I risk it all and go for the level five mine? So we only have two turns left. Yeah. The one with the most wine, mines is gonna win. You are, we are equal at the moment. Yeah. So do you bring in another mine yeah. or do you risk it attacking me or it is gonna take you all the turns to get yeah, to so my single there. mine? I actually think that's what I'm going to start with doing. Exploring the tile. Makes sense. And use some movement to move into this one. That is uh, War Machines when I'm playing with the expansion, so it doesn't really... Doesn't really do anything here. No. One more to move into this for a level 5 fight. Gonna risk it. So that is uh, pretty much above you. So if you win, you'll get a complete level. Complete level, yeah. But yeah, so a level 5 is gonna be two copper, one silver, one gold. Can I make one change to my move? Uh, yeah, of course. Before the fight, I'm gonna use Lex of Legion to reduce the cost of reinforcement for my Magi by 4. Makes sense. Which brings us down to 7. That then breaks him to his pack side. Yeah. As the gold, you're gonna face the champions. Mm -hmm. They roll two attack dice and apply both, as well as re-roll all minus ones. And we have the sealers who ignores combat penalty for adjacent units. Hmm. Champions are gonna run three. And they are gonna attack your magi. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna roll both dice, apply both results. Yeah. That is, that is pretty good. So that is a three, one defense, that is two damage. Yeah. That was actually the best that could ever happen. And the magic gets to... Retaliate? Yeah, and what is it? He ignores all combat all penalties? All combat penalties. And add one spell damage to the first spell you cast this round. Okay, so that's, that's a normal hit. So that is five damage. Attack of two, that is three damage going yeah. to. Then my magi is starting throwing a magic missile at the champions for two damage because he empowers it. He empowers with one or two? With one. Okay, so that is one for two damage here? Yeah. That is five damage? Five damage, yeah. He is gonna attack the Sealots. Ah, for three. That is three damage, they yeah. have no defense, and you ignore the penalties, so... Yeah. One, and attack the champions. For nothing. Yep, they are gonna retaliate. So uh, six. Yeah, that pretty much killed my guy roll. Uh, oh, they were not pack anymore? They were not pack anymore. Oh, that, um, yep. At least then uh, the champions can retaliate anymore. That brings me to my iron golems. 
Oh, and they should have actually have rerolled that minus one. But oh yeah, but they let it just be. Still kills you. Yeah. Um. That was again the magi. But yeah. Oh. Then it's the fives. Attacker goes first. And my gremlin are gonna attack the sealots. But they are gonna get penalty, so two dice. Use the worst. Oh, back yeah. row to back row. So that is two damage. Yeah, that's that. enough to kill him. Yeah, it is. Thank God. Then there's no more fives on the enemy side, so you get to activate your next five. No iron golden, yeah. I'm gonna move in here and attack the champions for two damage. Which is not enough. I am so unlucky with the rolls. But that also means that all yeah, of your units all of have my no. Units, yeah. So the skeletons and the pistols have still to go. Yeah. The skeletons are gonna run up towards the gremlins, mm -hmm. and they are just normal attacking for. One, which is one, one damage. damage. Grimly gets to retaliate. Yes. For one. Which is still one damage. Yeah. yeah. And the peasants are gonna run up. So the defense here is one. Uh, it's gonna gonna be pretty hard. They're gonna run up. Yeah. And try and attack the magi for nothing. Yeah. And that is the round. Oh, the magic have retaliated. Yeah. yeah. So are you gonna spend a movement point? Mm. Oh, you. I have none. That means that you have to move back to the field that you came from. But again, it was a pretty hard fight. Yeah. I am gonna upgrade my uh, Mathia skill to get Wall of Knowledge. And now I have the fully upgraded Mate Tower. Which means at the beginning of each Astrologer's round, you can take one Knowledge or one Power Statistics card from the discard pile to your hand. That's pretty nice. That is the round, I think. Yeah. So we are gonna get an Astrologer's Proclaim that says Astrologer's Proclaim week of the Swift Weasel until the next Astrologer's round. Once per turn, each player can reroll a treasure die or resource die. That is pretty decent. Yeah. We get our movement points back as well as our town actions. And then we need to find out what to do. So mm. next round is gonna be the last. Yeah. We are tied and I'm gonna have a hard time either I kill you off if you can or i need a miracle somewhere else <laughs> because i can only get one more mine and then i can reclaim yeah exactly so if i defeat you now i will get 20 coins mm -hmm. and i will send you back to the castle that is probably my best choice yeah that is your best option even though you have better upgraded than uh, i have because i'm not upgrading my silver units yeah but Gonna spend I one still hit. have one unit less than you. That's right. I'm gonna use the next to um, move into combat. Go into fight. I'm the attacker. I have to deploy first. Yep. Oh yeah, you didn't buy the genies. I did not buy the genies. No. Oh, so you have three units. Yeah. I actually was pretty sure that you had four. Ah, so you are in a bit of an advantage right now. So I think initiative-wise, you are. No, the you high. go first. Six versus six. Oh yeah. So I have the griffins or the marksmen to choose between. Mm. I am gonna try and uh, go for the Gremlins. I do have penalty, mm -hmm. back row to back row. Yeah. That is gonna be two damage. That's gonna flip him. Yes, and I'm not adjacent to an enemy, so I am allowed to shoot again. Oh. Mm -hmm. That is gonna be a single damage Ooh, to that he's side. He's still alive. That was my activation, and then you get to, in, to use your six initiative. Yeah. I'm gonna start with my Magi, and he is just gonna throw a Chain Lightning. <laughs> it's gonna begin at the Seelots, so they get one damage, go to Marksman, they get one damage, and the last one gets nothing, so... But yeah, still, my Marksman are one damage from downgrading. Yeah, and then my Magi is gonna attack your Marksman for four damage. That is enough to kill him off unless I do something interesting. I don't have any defense card in my hand, mm. so um, that is gonna be one to flip, three overkill. That is enough to pack my marksman. Then we are still on the sixes. Yeah, I have my griffins. Grimlings yeah. have not activated, and uh, I'm going to not activate. So one, two, three is the best I can do here. I am gonna attack. That is just a normal attack. That is gonna two. be. It's two. gonna kill him. Yeah. That is my griffins. Then we go to the fives. I am the attacker, so I get to yeah. choose first. I am going to play my speciality card, level one. And that allows me to either get plus one 
attack or plus one defense. Mm -hmm. If I played on Crusaders, it doubles. Ah. So I'm gonna give them plus two attack. Ah, so five attack. I'm gonna go into the Iron Golems. Mm -hmm. Six, that's gonna be four. Mm -hmm. That's enough to flip it and get it one. One overflow. They are still alive, they get to retaliate. Yes, four, three, plus one, and that's one. So that's zero damage. Yep. They have retaliated. And then it's their turn. They are now in the form because they have downgrade, which oh, yeah. means that which my Halberd Yes actually goes first. Yeah. They are gonna move up. That is gonna be three damage. That is reduced to two. two. That is it's enough. Still enough to kill it. So now you get to choose. So now I only have my seals. I am gonna play magic arrow with a power with my expertise. Mm -hmm. So that is gonna be three damage directly going through. Yes. And then the sealers are gonna shoot. They have penalty and they have a base attack of three. Yeah. That is gonna be two. Two. That's enough to flip it. Yep. Yeah. But not have any damage on this side. That is end of combat because it's not a neutral combat. Yeah. There's no movement payment to okay. continue because it's player versus player. So we just reset the cubes and mm -hmm. we start again. Which, Which means, means your Griffins goes first because I now have a five. Yeah, and I lost my marksman. Yeah. So Griffins gonna fly over. They are gonna attack for one. That is a single, a single damage. Single damage. Now they retaliate. Aha. Uh -huh. Or two. Which is still pretty still, good. Still, still two damage. When we go to the fives, I am the attacker. I get to start. I am gonna try with my Crusaders. Maybe single even line. succeed. Oh, I just. Back. So that is two damage. Yeah. That is still not enough. Nope. Then it's my turn. Yeah, so you can not retaliate, but you can yeah. at least attack. I'm gonna attack your sealers. Or three damage. Not Bring enough to, to kill him. Yeah. I was hoping to uh, to kill him. Then I get to choose my other fives. My halberdiers cannot reach, yeah. so my sealers are gonna try and shoot. Mm -hmm. They have disadvantage. Probably still gonna kill him. That is three damage. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. So what happens now is that I defeated you. So you uh, got your starting yours back and you move to your sill. I move into the field. Mm -hmm. I can't really use it. And now, and now I... I need to find out what I want to do. Oh, you still have a movement, yeah. I have one movement left. Do you want to go for the level five mine and get an upper hand? That is the thing because I kind of lost. Oh yeah, I also defeated you. Oh, they'll gain 20 gold. So I think I will use my population. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to spend the 10 of those to reinforce my Crusaders because that is my speciality. Yeah. I am going to use another three to rehire my marksman. And then I need to find out if I want to re... I don't have enough to reinforce my sealers. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have exactly enough to reinforce my Griffins and marksman. That's nice. And with that, do I go for the mine, or do I go cheeky cheeky for the treasure and try to capture a mine on round nine? Because you have not taken your turn yet. No. So I can, in the next two rounds, I can get to reclaim my mind over here. Exactly. So you have to win that battle, right? Mm, that depends on how many mines we get in play, right? Right yeah. now it's two. Right now it's two two. Oh yeah. So if you get the mine now, yeah, you win the game. No, because it is by end of round nine, because yeah. none of us will end at rate eight. So if I get that one, I will oh, have yeah. three, and you will be able to reclaim. Yeah. It will be three, three, and that will be a draw. Yeah. So I don't have a guaranteed win yet. I'm going to try and be cheeky mm -hmm. and go for a treasure. That is a level four fight. That means that I have to fight two cover, one silver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly down here. That's a, the a smart move. So that is going to be a single attack. That is going to be enough to kill them off. Yeah, they are dead. And that also means that the next up is the nomads. Yeah, they are just going to go one forward because they can't really reach. I, they can only reach the crusaders or the halberdiers. Um, I actually think they're going to go for the halberdiers. There is at least a, a way that you will be able to damage them here. Yeah. yeah. And a negative one, so two damage. So then we are on the sixes. So that is my marksman or my crusaders gonna play my special skill archery mm -hmm. that says that for the rest of this combat round all my range units get plus one attack as long as they're not adjacent to an enemy unit that is really nice um, if the tiles not adjacent unit they could also get an additional move but i'm not gonna play the expertise 
and then I'm gonna activate my marksman first. Troglodytes have not done anything yet. No. So I'm gonna attack for three, that's gonna be two, and I'm not Jason, so I'm allowed to play again. Mm -hmm. That is gonna be a single damage, that is not enough. That means it's the Troglodytes turn. If that was six, that is also six, yeah, so yeah. Troglodytes goes now. They're actually gonna do one back and one to the side and go for the Griffins. Can't do anything to the Crusader. There's either. higher higher possibility for the Griffins yeah. that the... Uh, two damage. That is still two damage, too. that is half to bracket it. Yeah, but it still needs to uh, They're gonna survive. retaliate for four. <laughs> that means he's there. Then I need to activate my other sixes. There's gonna be the Crusaders. Crusaders can reroll every zero on their attack die. Mm. One more. So negative one. Which is pretty That's worse. still three damage. That goes down to two. Yep. And then the nomads are gonna retaliate for three damage. So one damage. Yeah, that's still pretty decent. Still damage. Then I get to choose between my halberdiers and my sealots. And that's just our sealots, they have the highest damage output. And two, so one damage? Oh, yeah, and I actually played archery, so they have oh. plus one. So that's two damage. Yeah. But that's still one to. Little because they have one. Now. That's four. That's oh five. It's yeah. dead. Yeah, it is enough. And that ends the combat. And I actually also forgot the plus one on each of the marksman's attack. So yeah, yeah. There is a lot of things to keep track on. Yeah. That is same level here. So half an experience, and I get to roll two treasure and choose one. So let's see what we can get over here. An artifact or resource. I am gonna search two from the artifact deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna try. So I'm not getting the ever-powering vial of mercury that, that gives viables, uh, valuables yeah. uh, every time you use it. But we are in so late of this this uh, game mode that it would not really... Yeah, and that is end of my turn. That was not been used, and then yes. it's over to you. Then it's me. And we are equal on mines right now. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three movement here. Can't really buy anything, so that was just my turn. That was a clever move. Yeah. That is gonna be a problem. If I am lucky, we tie. Unless I can get an additional movement point somewhere. But um, um, you need three movement to the nearest extra movement point. So you gotta take the mine, go to the windmill, go there. But you still can't get to it. You, know, you, you can. I can actually take two I can take two mines. But uh, let's uh, go to turn and see what goes. I am gonna do my very best to make sure you don't get two mines. So it is the last round, which all means we remove all the windmill and watermills. Yeah. It is a resource round. We get our income. Yeah. That is uh, gonna be needed if yeah. I need to defeat two fives. <laughs> if I spend as much as a single additional combat turn, mm. I you don't have movement points. You can't move. It's it's kind of a Hail Mary, this one. <laughs> and uh, let's just say, I do not go easy on him. <laughs> and it is two little fives. Yeah, it's two little fives. They are above you, still. Only half level, but still above you. And you have to do really good on the first one to be able to have a chance on the second one. And this is all kind of problem. If I reinforce my sealers now, I've used my population token, so if I lose something in the first fight, yeah. I can't reinforce or repopulate, so I need to do the first fight with what I have in hand yeah. and hope for the best. Yeah. We can't end it on a draw. Nah. I, I, either I win or, <laughs> or I lose. Not, no, no draws here. So I'm going to spend my first movement point. Either he wins or he keeps playing until he do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that is level 5 fight. Two copper, one silver, one gold. I'm going to place my sharpshooter down here. Ignore the combat penalties. I'm going to place my manticores. They have it on a zero or a plus one in uh, outcomes of your attack dice. He gains a plus one defense. And then we are gonna place the rogues up here. That means we have an initiative of nine to begin with. So yeah. that's the griffins and the sharpshooters. And that saga goes first. Yeah. Yeah, we are just gonna um, start the combat. Negative one, so... That's the same as if you get a decent defense. So yeah, that is so one. one damage. Six to go! And then the man's course retaliate. Or five. I do think I want to play my defense <laughs> with, uh, with expertise. 
but two defense. That is three damage, three damage yeah. keeping me on my pack side for now. Then, unfortunately, it is going to be the sharpshooters. Yeah, and they are going to be targeting your marksmen. And they have... Ignore the combat penalties. All penalties. So, three damage. That is going to be flip over with one overflow. This is going south pretty fast. <laughs> then we have eight. Yeah, that is going to be the Manticore, unfortunately. Yeah. And the Manticore are going to attack your Griffins for five. This time there's nothing I can do. So that is uh, this one here. And, and it is four overflow, four which is enough to kill off my Griffins. So we are going to try and attack that Manticore. That is going to be four attack. That means it's two damage. Yeah. I can reroll that zero. Oh. One, two, plus one, then it's three damage. Yeah, that's that's better. Yeah, but it's still alive. We but it are... can't we can't retaliate. No, then it is the rogues. Then the rogues here, and they have two attack. They are gonna move forward and attack the halberdiers uh, for one damage. So and no one damage. Defense. And they are gonna retaliate. So that is two. That is one, one damage. damage going through. Then it's your marksman and your sealots. Oh, your silos first. No, no, we have the deer. Or yeah, your silos. Exactly. So let's just try and go with the halberdiers for a start, because the rogues are right there. Yeah. That is two damage. So one damage. That is, you can flip this. Yeah, that is still not enough. So this is gonna. They retaliate. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty bad battle. For three damage. That's gonna be two. That enough is enough to, to flip, flip them, and then it's my silos. So I'm about to have a very, very bad second turn and lose my one movement point. For my last two units, I am going to play Archery again, mm -hmm. giving them plus one. And I'm also going to cast my Spell Magic Arrow mm -hmm. to defeat the rogues. And then I, for that, I'm going to activate my Cedars, of course. Mm -hmm. They're going to shoot the Manticore. I have plus one, so that is four. That's so five, five minus one, that's two. Uh, minus two. Yeah. So that is three damage more, right? Yeah, that is enough. Unfortunately, I can't. You can't kill Bo. You. Well, I can because I have some marksman left. Oh yeah. But they have brackets, so they don't, they don't shoot twice more. Ah. But they have plus one, so they are three damage, which yeah. is not enough. <laughs> Definitely two, not enough. Two damage, yeah. It it gives a dent in it. So I have to spend a movement point. <laughs> yep. And we reset. Go again. And I think that makes my sharpshooters the first one to go. Yes. Hello, Markman. Or two damage. Yeah, that is killing off my Markman. Then I have to go with my Crusaders. They are gonna attack. Yeah, probably also gonna kill. And they can only roll zeros. That is three. So it has one damage. One left. And they get to retaliate. Yes. For two, so no damage. Yep. Then it is my sealants. They are disadvantaged because back row to back row. They have. There, he's dead. Yeah, and the plus one is also gone. So yeah, that was uh, pretty bad. I only have one movement point left. What do you mean? It was really excellent. So I am uh, gonna get a whole level, bringing my hand size to six, and also giving me a search two. You can uh, hope for a movement. On artifacts. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I love it when he says that. So I'm not going to take the Titan Kirkus. Plus four power. That is um, disturbing. It must be movement. Wing boost or something like that. It was not movement. It was not movement? No, I will, I will say so much. It was not movement. Um, but it it Damn. was it was helpful. I also get five coins. Yeah. I need to take my town actions before I do anything else. Mm. Right now, because else I'm gonna have uh, quite a big problem. So I'm gonna use my populate, and I kind of need <laughs> to buy something back. <laughs> so how come? I'm gonna buy my marksman back, mm. and I am gonna reinforce them. I am gonna buy my griffins back for four. Mm -hmm. And then, by the card I just got, I'm going to play to reduce the recruitment or reinforcement cost of a unit by 6 to a minimum of 0, reinforcing them for free. And then I don't have the money to get my sealers up, 
but I will use three to reinforce my halberdiers again. Yeah. So I'm back to where I started. Mm -hmm. I have one movement point, which I'm gonna use to get a valuable. And then on the very, very, very first turn, I got angel wings mm. to get one plus movement. Let's go with a single card Ooh. in hand. And that is a five again, so that's one copper, one silver. Two copper. Uh, two copper, one silver, and one gold. And this time I don't have cards in hand to play. Yeah. I am gonna use my morale token to uh, to draw a card from my Might Magic deck. Yeah. So Harpy's Ignore Retaliation. Mommy, so set your attack die to negative one. Go, and go, go. Take two minus damage from spells to a minimum of zero. Okay. And half legs ignore yeah. penalty. Yeah, no, no, they roll two attack die and resolve the higher one. Oh. And they ignore combat penalties. Ah, that is some pretty bad units for my final fight at final movement point. But so, uh, yeah. Yeah, but your griffin gets to go first. So a lot of my units get to go first, I can see. Yeah, I have an eight in the harpies. So my griffins are gonna attack the gold golems because mm. else I will And you block. have to win this in one round. Also that. <laughs> because else I will just block myself. Yeah. That is going to be four, that's going to be two. two damage going through. And then they are going to retaliate. Let me just check here. I am going to play my attack card mm -hmm. for Which? expertise. That is going to give up to four. And then they retaliate for four damage. So that is going to break it. And then it is the, the eight. The hobbies? Yeah. They are flying, which means they can fly over your unit, right? Yes. So they go one, two, three, and they attack your sea lots. Yes. For three damage. That is two damage. Two damage, yeah. I am going to retaliate. Harvey uh, Signal retaliation. That was the eight. We don't have any sevens, so we are uh, on the sixes. sixes. Yeah. That is my marksman. My marksman is definitely going to try and kill off those nasty halflings. Ah, I can understand that. So I do have disadvantage, back row to back row. That is a single damage going through. You but have the potential to kill him. I have to Still. shoot again. That's for two. So he's dead. That, and that is, is pretty important. Yeah. And then we are on the, the fives. fives. Which means you go first. Yeah, and that is my... S no, no, I have another six. Crusader, yeah. I have another six, yeah. I would go for the moment with yeah. Crusader because of his base attack. That is also what I'm thinking, and I can reroll to zero. Yeah, but to what a whale. Yeah, you're gonna say to minus one anyway. Yeah. So you're just gonna attack with three damage for two damage. That's gonna be a single damage rule. No, no, no. He sets your attack. Oh, oh yeah, so that's three, so that's two damage. Yeah, to so the still end. two damage. And then he's gonna retaliate for three plus one, so four damage. Then two shields, so he takes two damage. Yeah, so not enough to break it. And he gets no, that was your retaliation. Yeah. And then it's the fives. Yeah. And I start with the attackers. Uh, the only thing I can do right now is I can start with my halberdiers mm -hmm. into these harpies. Harbors, yeah. And I only have a single die. That is only two. That is not gonna be enough. And then they retaliate, or only one, so they don't. You don't get any damage. Then it's um, you get to choose between yeah. the two fives. I just think my gold golem is gonna go nuts in your griffin. Or three damage. That is not gonna bracket not, it. Not enough. And it is gonna retaliate. Uh, two, so nothing goes through. Nothing goes through, yeah. And then I get to activate my sealots. Mm -hmm. They are gonna try and attack the gold golems. Yeah. For four, that is two, that is gonna kill off the, enough to kill that one, yeah. the golems. And, and that brings you to two. the mummies. Mm -hmm. They are gonna move one to the side. And get four damage in on your griffin. And that's gonna kill the griffins, no retaliation, and I have absolutely no way of winning this fight. Yeah, and you, you, you can't continue either way because you have no more movement. No, I am out of, uh, of luck here. I just have to pull back to my last location. Yeah. So yeah, I survived with four units. I have to move back to my last visit location, and that is gonna be my turn. Yeah, and one and two movement, and I'm gonna take this one. Yeah. It actually gives you the win. For my last movement, I'm just gonna go down here onto the forest and chill. <laughs> but uh, that also concludes. It is the end of the ninth round. You have one mine more than me. Yeah. 
which means that you actually win the game. Ah, I won! So that concludes our playthrough of the two-player class scenario, Brave New World. And I have to admit that you can't win every single time. And still, <laughs> this is uh, Bams' first time, so... Uh, Beginner's luck, can con you call it? Congratulations on the win. <laughs> it was it was a pretty tight game. It was really close until the end. But I guess it really does matter that I played Heroes of Might and Magic 3 a lot. There is really a lot of that stuff. They have captured almost every single yeah. aspect in the board game, which is a pretty big uh, accomplishment, to be yeah. honest, because this is a very complex game. The, the only difference is that the neutral heroes are much smarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually right. But yeah, that uh, includes, concludes the game and hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. We really do hope that you had as much fun as we had playing it, watching us play it. And as always, remember, remember to like, subscribe and comment down below. And that is all for today's video. Thanks for watching.